Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to a very special edition of Rhino's Computer Service tonight. We actually have something very unusual to work on. We have ourselves here a MacBook Pro from 2019. It just came in a couple of minutes ago. So I was on service calls today. Just the typical ones of just doing a few odds and ends. But so basically what we're gonna do is once I set this one back to factory default, I would actually like the the guy's gonna sell this thing. And I would actually like to buy it, but I don't have two thousand to spend on. It's not, it's not even a, it's not that old. It's only a year old laptop. It's a Core i nine with sixteen gigs of DDR four with Intel graphics. It is a nice computer. So we'll kind of give you an idea of what we're. So this is currently. So we're gonna go ahead and. Clear out the web browsing history. So you don't see anything that that's that you're not meant to see. Now I've been wanting a MacBook for a long time, and I've been even pricing them, but more than likely. It won't be this year anymore that I would be buying an editing computer. I'm going to turn that off. So, just to kind of give you a, a stats, this is, we'll zoom in here. So it's a 16 inch 2019. 2.3 gigahertz, 8 core Intel Core i9. Let's see if there's a software update. Download and restart. Well, this is probably going to, this is definitely something I should plug in. I just don't get computers like these very often. I just, I'm tickled pink by Apple computers for some reason. I really am. I think they're awesome computers. I just, I'm financially strapped to buy it. Because in the last, last couple of weeks, I've been making a few decisions on how to further expand my video editing setup because the computer I'm using now is an HP Z200 workstation PC from like 2010-2011 with its Core i5 first gen with 8 gigs of RAM and I got two drives in there, a terabyte and a 500 gig with a, I think that's a NVIDIA, a two gig graphics card. And that's, for, for what I'm doing now and the more advanced cameras, this is just not working. But something like this would be freaking awesome. I would have to take out like $2,000 loan. Man, I want this thing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should. That'll take me like two months to. Actually, it'll probably take me about four months to get it paid off. Because I only make. Summer months is actually more money coming in than in the winter months. A lot of times in winter, it's only like $132 to $2 a week. 
that I have coming in. That's for my other job. But now, summertime with grass cutting, and, and then I picked up an extra yard. But it's still not enough. Yeah. People bring stuff, and then they want to sell it. And then, of course, at that time, I don't have the money. But then as soon as it's somebody else buys it, then all of a sudden I come up with it. Yeah, it is what it is. So I'll go ahead. The one extension cord I got tied up with doing the other laptops holding. We'll get this. This one. This is kind of a weird length for one, but somebody gave it to me, so I thought I could get some use out of it. So we'll plug it into the power strip. Now, when you're running a business in that, and you got fire marshals that come in, they just get so giddy and happy when you have tons of extension cords plugged into stuff. So the, the plug that works with this is a universal, I like to call it a Thunderport style plug. So what's really cool is you can plug me either way and it's not going to wreck the connector. I got to see how... Mm, you got two? I got two connectors on here. So I'm thinking one, you could use to charge your phone. And two... You can, so we are going to make this a two-part video because I'm doing the macOS Catalina 10.15.5 update, and so far we have 829 megabytes of 3.37 gigs to go, so... I, this this is really nice computer. What's really cool is you got your touchpad buttons over here. You got your touchstones or like tablet type buttons, so you can hit show all, or you can just scroll around. You got your. Different buttons here. You have your brightness. So you can actually turn it off all the way. We'll put it about that so I can see what I'm doing here. And then you also have desktop view button. And then you can also, you got a button to make your apps. Now, I was watching, I think that was I Justine or something. She was doing a review on one of these last year. And I thought to myself, how the heck does she have that kind of revenue to, to spend, buy a new MacBook every month and then just discard the old ones saying that they're just, it's old. And... Now, if I was, now, if I, if, Somebody was in a predicament like that and they didn't want it anymore and they were just going to throw it in the garbage. I would definitely take it off their hands in a heartbeat. But in this case, he's not going to get rid of it in that fashion. He's going to sell it for what he paid for it. But not everything is meant to be either. And I don't think that the good Lord... I want we'll to wait and see how this pans out. Maybe he'll cut me a deal or something, but 
So basically, let's go show all again. So you also, let's say that you're watching a movie or playing music or something, you can you can use those buttons there to. But we're not going to do that because YouTube Mafia will terminate me permanently if I play any audio. And I'm sure the speakers on here sound spectacular. If the iPads sound really good, I'm sure these have decent speakers. So basically, we'll go back in, and you can also meet your volume, turn it up and down. And then you get a colorful button that is series. And I'm not familiar with this feature, but it sounds like it's recording my I voice. I found this on the web. Okay, so you can actually talk to it. Hey, series, what time is it? It's 7.02 p.m. That's pretty good. Hey, Sears, when is Sears going out of business? Here's what I found. Okay, not exactly what I was looking for, but that's pretty. That's a cool feature. So if you want to get rid of it, you just close the X. So... Let's check the software... Update, so we're about a third way through. When I was back in school, not high school so much, but that was more like elementary school, middle school, we had a lot of Mac computers like the Apple, like the Performer 5200, the first generation GMAC for like the, the educational series from like 1998. Those are spectacular computers. And then first generation flat screen style iMac. And for the time, I got two iMacs at my house. I, I need to wipe those wipe them clean and reinstall Mac OS 9 on them because I sort of messed them up. But that was from something I was trying years ago when I first acquired them. But I just I just think Mac is spectacular. This is a system preference. So I know I should have a tripod for this. So. And then when I was taking classes at my local technical college in the library, they had 27 inch IMAX there. They were originally intended for to be used for people in the graphics arts department, but I still sat down and used the iMac computers anyway. But I'm... I still got a soft spot for the older Macintosh from like the, the 90s. They're decent machines. For a while, Mac was about four years ahead of Windows PCs because I had a Mac computer sitting in my basement. That was an i3 
not an i uh yeah iMac that had the same specs of that was a 2000 for near 2000 and I had a 2004 everlasting e machine computer with the same specs and the everlasting e machine computer is from 2004 and the the iMac had the same or the same hardware from 2004 era on so After a while, like if you're a school or something, or a non-for-profit organization, you can get grants if you buy Macs, or if you buy iPads or iPods. I don't think a lot of schools buy iPods because they're easy, easily to pocket. But iPads, if you buy like the iPad Pro or the other iPad versions. When I was in high school, they had, by the time I was a senior, that's when I started getting iPads, first gen, of course. They're not bad. But it just, Usually the first year of everything always has bugs, especially the iPad from first generation. They didn't have cameras on them. They, even the iPod Touch, I did have an iPod Touch here as first gen. And then I have a fourth gen iPod Touch. And I, I didn't buy them new, I bought them from yard sales, but the only reason I haven't did anything yet with them is I just haven't had the time between running on service calls and then doing the buildings and grounds job. That's something that you do on a weekend where you absolutely had nothing going on. But eventually I will make time to stop at the store and buy some iTunes cards and then I'll get I'll re reassociate my iTunes account and then download some music to those things and actually use them instead of them just sitting here collecting dust and cobwebs and whatever else. So it will come I'm thinking so I did have to go to the store today and believe it or not, there's only one pack of toilet paper left on the shelves and one pack of paper towels. And it wasn't even the decent stuff. It was just the, like the 50 cent roll. So evidently, there's still people out there hoarding toilet paper and hoarding paper towel products. And the only dish soap that you can buy now is degreasing dish soap. They don't have, they still don't have the antibacterial or any other disinfectant products or wipes. Or the only thing that they had is wipes or the moist towelettes. But enough about that. It's not the whole topic of this video, but. So basically, I'll get on my other screen here. I'll just put it this way Apple has evolved so much. So let's actually look up MacBook Pro 16. Let's just kind of do a comparison. I would definitely have to go definitely have to do the eight core. For sure.
That is a 2.3. So for 200 bucks more, you can do 2.4. So if you want 64 gigs, and you got 6 gigs... You want eight terabytes, and you got Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro X. So for about six thousand five hundred ninety-eight dollars, you'd have yourself a pretty sweet setup of a computer. And now, if you were gonna go the Mac iMac Pro, let's see what you can buy for. Base price here, $4,999 to $5,000. So basically, I would go 18 core right away. Why not just fancy it up? Another 5000 for 256 gigs of DDR4 ECC memory. So we're, we're at 12 12,600 right now. And 16 gigs of Radeon Pro Vega 64X memory of H HBM2 memory. So 13,299. So you put 4 terabyte SSD or up to 4,299. And if you want to get fancy mouse setup, 14,448. So if you had the software, so about just short of fifteen thousand. Now that is a really unrealistic setup, but for some applications, like if you're doing a lot of your studios, like ABC, NBC, CBS, a lot of them use computers like these because the, the editing is. Mac was always meant for graphical power. Windows PCs, you can edit on there. But a lot of your typical standard home computers are not, are not equipped for editing. Like your typical pavilion PCs for like 399 or 500 Chances are, if you try to do video editing on there, it's not... Now if you do it like with 480 by 600, 400 by 800 or something. Yeah, you probably could edit a five-minute video with it without too many glitches. But if you're doing like an hour and a half, two, three-hour video with like 10, 20 by or 9, 20 by 10 or 19, 20 by 10, 1080p. Yeah, you're gonna run into a few complications, but with a machine like this. Or even a laptop like this, you're not going to have any major, too many major problems as long as you got the right software and you got the right tools. But this thing, it'd be interesting to actually try it. So we are going to call it quits on part one for now, and I will come back at a later time once I set this thing back to factory default. So this is actually a very interesting opportunity that that this came in today. If it wasn't for the fact that I wasn't the first choice that the guy picked, obviously, for doing this job, because there's a, a guy in Manitowoc that he called, and he says, do you think you could set my iMac back to factory default? And the guy says, what's an iMac? I don't know what it is. And the guy says, okay, I'll take it somewhere else. So that's why he brought it here. And, and it is very pleasurable working on stuff like this. You don't usually get a lot of iMacs in MacBooks that come through the door. Or what I meant to say was I don't get a lot of MacBooks, especially MacBook Pros. So on that note, we will end the stream for now. And then maybe 
definitely tomorrow we'll come back and resume this because I have to help a gentleman out that's coming by here in a little bit for doing a file recovery. So God bless everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Enjoy the weekend. And we'll see you tomorrow.